With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, the question is, a heavy rope is suspended from the ceiling of a room. If phi is the density of the rope, L is its original length and Y is its young modulus. Then increase tail L in the length of the rope due to its own weight each. So we have to find the increase in length that is tail L we have to find. And the options we can see A, B, C, D. Now we have to choose the correct option. So let us consider this is a rod we can consider suspended with the ceiling so let us consider this is a ceiling and length of this rod is l we can consider this is the length that is given cross sectional area is a and the young modulus is for y clear now density is given and density is phi given. Now let us consider a elementary portion, a small portion of this the rod. This length is what? This is the dx. And it is the x distance from the bottom we can achieve. This dx is the x distance from the bottom. Now if we consider this elementary, this is small. So if we draw the three wall diagram for this a small portion, so we can see that let us consider this is what dx a small part of this, and this is what dx. Now mg force will act in the downward direction and the restoring force will act in the upward direction. F and m is what volume into density. So here we can write this f is equal to from here we can write f is equal to mg and this is equal to volume into density a density phi is given into g we can write and volume is equal to what volume equal to area into length so area into length is what dx this weight is acting on this dx element and dx force so x we can write a into x is the volume into density mass into g we can write clear now as we know a stress is equal to a stress is equal to force by area it means this a x phi g and divided by a so this a and a cancel out so we will get this stress is equal to A stress is equal to x density into g. Now we can find the strain. So a strain is equal to change in length divided by original length. So a strain is equal to this a strain. We can write. A strain is equal to change in length. So change in length we can assume this. Change in length is what? Del L dash we can assume this. In the dx portion, in the small portion, change in length is this. And the original length is what? This. Dx. So from here we can write this is the strain value. Clear? Now as we know y is equal to a stress and divide by a strain. Young modulus y is equal to a stress and divide by a strain. A stress is equal to this x phi g and divided by this change in length into dl element. So you can assume this del l dash and divided by this del x or dx. We can write because we have considered this either dx. So we have to write here dx and dx we have to write. So here is what dx and here we can write dx clear. Now from here we can write del l dash. So del l dash equal to y is equal to after simplifying this we will get x density into g and divided by 
del L dash and del into dx. We can write clear. Now, from here you can write del L dash is equal to x phi g into dx and divided by y. Clear? Now, this y is the Young modulus. So, we can write this way. This y is the Young modulus. So, this is y. Clear? Now, we have to find the total change. This is the change in the small part of this. So, total change we have to integrate. So, total change in length. And this is equal to, we can write from here, we have to integrate this part. So, this is equal to del L dash integration. We can write from here. So, we will get del L left side. And integration of this phi g and y is constant. So, phi g and this Young modulus is a constant. So, we can take outside of integration sign. And this is what x into dx we can write. Clear? Now, from here we can see that and the integration x varies from 0 to L. So, this is the phi g and y. Phi g and y and this is equal to after integrating this is the x square and divided by 2 and limit is what 0 to L we can put. Clear? So, from here, this is equal to phi g and y and this is what l square and divide by 2. So, left side we will get del l that we have to find del l. So, this is equal to we can write. Now, from here we can see that del l is equal to phi g l square and divide by 2 into this. Clear? So, this is the, we can see, this is the required answer. Now, according to option, we can see that phi g l square divided by 2y. Phi g l square and divided by 2y. Yes, this. C is the right option for this question. Hope this. Answer your question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.